Hey, I didn't connect to the car. <laughs> Let me call you back. I'm about to do a pull. Or you can just hang on. Oh, brakes. <laughs> Hold on, Drew. Oh, my gosh. We're in it. We're in it. We're in it. We're in it. We got an issue. 2021 Mustang Mach 1. We got a problem. We got to try to figure it out. Let's see if we can fix it. Summer is here. I got a pump. I'm going back to the garage. We're going to get this video kicked off and started. We have a lot to do today. We are finally going to be able to change out the break in oil from our ESS supercharger. I got to say, in the past really few hundred miles, the blower wine itself, it sounds like a turbo almost because it's a century blower. But my gosh, has it really started to get louder and start to sink? Let's see if I can, let's put the car to quiet mode and see if we can just. See if you can hear it on camera. It's definitely gotten louder. By the way, I hear you. I see you back there. Mustang. If you guys want a supercharger for your S550 Mustang for a killer deal, email Brevin at esstuning.com. Let him know that you saw this video that I sent you, and he'll give you a pretty good deal on one of these kits. Remember, this is the first Mach 1 in the world with an ESS supercharger, and it is performing great. So we got to change the oil, but we also have a problem. So the fix, hopefully, is coming in the mail today. We're going to drive back to the garage, and hopefully it's waiting on me so we can install it in the car. But I have tried to fix this on my own and I'm just at that point where I can't figure it out so there's a lot of form conversations about this and that is good shake on the Mach 1. By the way guys like you saw in the beginning of the video though all the car wash cinematography guys let them know that I sent you as well they give you a good deal they got Grant's Garage they got Car Pros they got all the tools because all the brushes going between the wheels they have they sent me one of the best drawing towels I've ever used ever seriously so go check out attention to detail online.com go get your waxes your shampoos your tools your drying towels he's got it all go check them out but let's get back to the garage but hey it's a good day for mod the mach one all right let's get in the video guys let's go <laughs> package right, that's fine pop the hood let's just maybe get cooled off it is hot today while we wait on our remedy to come in the mail it's going to hopefully fix our problem so oh, what a lot of guys do is they just mess with these which i've been doing and i think the next step is going to actually be to play with this and lower it down just a hair and see if we can get the uh, the hood to stop shaking but my problem hasn't really been the front so much. It's actually been towards the rear, believe it or not. So I don't see a lot of front hood shake. I see a lot of rear hood shake. It's very interesting. Never had really had that happen on an S550 that I've owned before. And I've had like four or five of them. But anyway, our ESS supercharger, and it's so hot and this thing is, look, I can keep my hand on it. These things run so efficient. It's impressive. The bang for the buck for these. Guys, go check out esstuning.com. Let Brevin know that I sent you. Get a good deal on one of these things, but you can get into like 700 horsepower or more for like under six grand. That's ridiculous. I mean, he's basically giving them away, but we're going to change the oil because I'm actually a little bit over the break in miles. I think it'll be fine, but uh, we're going to pump out some fluid once this thing cools off just a little bit more. Hopefully by the end of changing the oil, the package will actually show up so that we can you know, add something to the car that hopefully will fix our hood shake issue and something that every S550 should come with, in my opinion, from the factory, and they never, ever do. Can you guess what it is? We're definitely doing some pulls at the end of this video, so guys, hang in there. Hopefully this pump will work. It's cheap, but the hose is really small. My other one down there, it's too fat. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give this is going to be hot. Fill, and then there is your dipstick over here on the other side. So we're gonna get them both loose because we have to check both, but we're gonna siphon out of the fill. So that is, by the way, that's a, um, a six mil. 
on the other is an eight. When you tighten these back down too, you don't really want to torque them down. Just get them a little bit hand tight, but you don't need to go crazy with it. Oh, this is hot. When you refill, I don't know if you can tell, there's these hash marks right there. You want to be in those hash, mar hash marks just like, you know, regular, you know, engine dipstick. So no, uh, no rocket science there, but all right, let's see if we can put this together, figure this out. Perfecto. Silly me forgot that when you order the SS kit, they actually send you uh, the suction thing to so you don't have to buy one. Completely forgot about it, but oh well, you know, uh, no big deal. Waste of 13 bucks. But yeah, if you order an ESS kit, you're going to get everything that you need. So pretty cool. Um, just completely forgot about it. But we're going to get our new fluid out. So I talked to Brevin, just wanted to confirm because I only got about this much of the bottle out. So uh, quite a bit less than, you know, this new one. And I wanted to make sure that, you know, I wasn't running this thing dry or whatever. So he just told me that, yeah, you're fine. When you fill these up the first time, when you go to suction everything out, you're definitely not going to bring out this much fluid. So you're fine, about three-fourths of a bottle, whatever. So is what it should take whenever we put this new stuff in. But we got to pay attention to our cross hatching on our dipstick because we don't want to overfill it or it'll come out of the vent tube because this thing is spinning like crazy. And you want to do this about every 5,000 miles or so, about every oil change, if you're changing about every 5,000 miles, just do this. But for your initial break-in, give it about you know 500 to 1,000 miles, and then you'll do this. So this is my first time. The next time we do this will be, again, like I said, 5,000 miles. I have been waiting on these for a long time. Every time I went to buy them, they'd be on back order because Roush has a significant problem here for the past two years, um, all this pre-COVID stuff. But anyway, cool. Oh, here we go. Okay, we got some hardware. Cool. And we have our new hood struts. Let's get them out of the packaging and show you what's different about these and why, why you might want to actually consider these over some of the uh, competition. But these are a little bit different because they have different mounting points. All right, so the problem is when you put these hood struts in right here, a lot of times if you don't get these things tight, even if you do just the weight of the hood, they start to spin on you. This new Roush design actually ties in with some of the bolt holes on either side, okay? Like like right here or something like that. It's got these really fancy brackets that prevent that. But these are actually kind of like an OEM part on some of the newer Roush cars, and it's an updated design as of like, I guess, a couple of years ago. But, so we do have Roush branding here, and these are side specific, obviously. And then these are what's really fancy. You have this lip right here that goes up, so just like this, and it goes up in this position here. So the way that that installs is facing towards the top of the car. Just put a few threads on it when it goes in, and you'll have to feed this in. But when it, as you tighten it, that lip goes up into the bracket itself so that it looks like this. Hopefully you can pick that up on camera properly, and that helps to tighten and keep this backside locked in place. So that way when you tighten it up, it doesn't move whatsoever. Completed hood struts. I need to still trim up the battery cover, but this side is also completely done and they are glorious. So this is how they fit just like this. This is probably my favorite that I've installed so far on a Mustang, 100%. These things are definitely worth the money. See this, this side we have no real significant issue, but over here, hey, yeah, that's a problem. So this is the way that it came from the Packers. So we need to get into this latch, I think, and play with it. Really impressed with the Roush hood struts. Is that going to solve our problem? Well, I don't know. But, you know, never. I think we can all agree that hood struts never really hurt. <laughs> so uh, they all need them from the factory. Let's see how easy this is. One handed. There she goes. So that's a 10 mil. I think we just need to loosen this and then kind of sink it down a little bit. All right. We are done. We got the bumper. We got the hood all lined up. Let's see if we're going to have any more of that hood shake. We also got the oil changed in the supercharger. It sounds beautiful. This thing sings. Now it's time to get up here and test our hood, see if we got it figured out. But to do that, we got to go fast. So let's do a couple of pulls. I want to play the traffic game.
love this setup, man. Oh my gosh. With a manual transmission in the back one with all this grip, dude, you cannot beat this centrifugal supercharger from ESS, dude. This thing is and 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 right in front of me. Oh, this guy went off the road. It's a lot of dust. Hey! I didn't connect to the car. Yeah, let me <laughs> let me call you back. I'm about to do a pull. Or you can just hang on. Alright, hold on. Hold on your britches. It's a big corner. Grip, 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 grip. all over the road. This is a bad, 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 bad idea. We're going to have to turn this around. We're going to turn this party around. Hang on. Yeah, let me call you back. So it's fresh pavement. All I hear is stuff hitting the bottom of the car. I just watched this thing. Oh, well. Let's do some more. video that's that's a video so did we solve the hood problem yeah I, I guess for now I guess we'll have to see in a windy day but for now it seems like we're good to go we got his trust on the car we got that fresh oil change in a blower and we are tearing up the back roads hopefully you enjoyed it and hey, I know some of this seems, some of the videos seem to maybe a little boring, you know, it's hood struts and blah, blah, blah. But for somebody out there with the Mach 1, hopefully, you know, this will be of some use. But ultimately, we had fun in the back half of this video, guys. So make sure that you are subscribed and turn your bell notification on because it's power month. Yes, we're going to be throwing a little bit more power at this car. And I have got to find some long tube headers. If you guys know anybody out there, some long tube headers for a good price please send them my way i appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next video god bless all of you be safe until next time bye